Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We're gonna finish our series on COVID just to make sure you guys have the most concentrated information you can. And Adam, I wanna just tie this together with the fact that we've been addressing very specific contest times and how to adjust for that, what to do with your nutrition, what about training. But there are some people who just may be better off saying, I've got a family to take care of, my entire job situation is on the line. I just have to cut for right now, cut and run. I need to delay this. I need to just say, look, even though I was so excited about this contest season, I had so many goals and everything was, was perfectly planned and, and I was right there, it's just not the time. You can still maintain uh, your, your training, everything else, and, and just look for, maybe you can regroup for the fall, but if you just don't need this stress right now, you know, take it off your plate. I don't, I don't, I haven't had that conversation specifically with, with any of my clients yet, but as things may get worse, Adam, I think it's a realization that more people will have to uh, consider. Yeah. Just had my first one of those last night. We decided Arnold 2021 and uh, we said, you know what, let's, uh, let's let things get back to normal. And uh, she's competed before and she's definitely a champion mindset, but she just said, you know, I really think I feel better about this, knowing that there is an end goal, and she feels better about next year, which I was like, I'm totally okay with that, because it's one less person I'm kind of throwing into the uncertainty, so I can definitely be a lot more certain with that plan. Yeah, every single competitor, every coach, every promoter, every head of the bodybuilding organizations doesn't want to hear what we just said. Everybody wants to say, let's, let's keep everything on track. We need it for our mental health, for our physical health and goals. Uh, we need it to keep our economy moving forward. And so I'm, I'm throwing this out there just to say for some people, it may be the best. For other people, the best move may be to continue to uh, adjust and move forward and, and stay in the game. Absolutely. But I do think for a, for a small percentage of people, uh, you're going to have bigger things to worry about. But uh, th there are some other ancillary topics that we can cover, Adam. I don't know. You, you had mentioned that even people who use performing enhancing drugs and things like that, um, you know, I, I'm not the biggest expert in that realm, but I know if you are planning different cycles and so forth, you need to be wary of, you know, how does this, uh, how is this going to affect my schedule changes? And, and do you give much advice to clients in that area? Yeah, and especially with the health epidemic right now, um, I would really advise like staying away from stuff that's really toxic to your, you know, liver and kidneys. With a respiratory issue, you know, you start circulating less oxygen to those organs, and those are what die off first if you catch this. And uh, I think that people really need to be wise with um, taking something in this time period. Um, I don't want to be anyone's dad, but um, that is definitely a concern because if you catch this, you want your body to be as healthy as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a really good point. I mean, of course, because oxygenation does decrease with this as, as a respiratory disease and virus, um, you're right. The, the most sensitive vascular tissue, which would include your kidneys, uh, could be an issue. I, I, I did read an article last night of a, of a person in France who ended up, you know, really having organ failure because the lungs were, you know, she was a young person, the, the lungs were healthy enough to, to keep her alive, but then other organs were failing. So yeah, that's a, that's a really good consideration. Are there any other uh, nuanced demographics or, or topics you think that would help people? I can't think of anything. I just, uh, I, I really do say try to plan ahead a little bit. You don't have to hoard, but again, do make sure when you're lean that you do have some extra food to go to in case there was a temporary shortage, you know, maybe save a couple water bottles, not saying you need to have a whole bunker, but just, uh, just prepare a little bit. Um, I think the problem with how this whole thing started is no one took it serious and now we're on lockdown and everyone's like, oh shit. Now we're taking it serious for the, the most part. Um, so, you know, um, let's not let that happen and under prepare, but let's not short people out by over preparing. This is why we have the toilet paper issue right now. 
Yeah, uh, Dr. Corey Prost and I just recorded a podcast today that we released. Uh, th those of you who see this, it will already have been released, and it's the Die Doc Life Mastery podcast uh, regarding uh, you know what to do, not not only mentally and and for emotional stability but actual practical planning. Some of the things you can do to look for some opportunity through this kind of a crisis and shutdown. So really important podcast that I'm, I'm happy that we got out there. You guys should all check that out. But Adam, thanks for your help with this. I think this is a kind of tangible uh, advice competitors needed to, to help them with their planning. So you guys uh, share these around. If, if you think it'll help other people, uh, we all definitely need to band together and make sure that we come out of this stronger as communities. That's one of the greatest positives I see from this, Adam. So uh, thank you for your contribution to this. And we'll see you guys next time in Contest Prep University.